know, one Sunday morning, not that long ago, got a phone call. It was my brother-in-law. Couldn't get one of his lug nuts off his Ford truck. Said no problem. Ran over to his house with my trusty Milwaukee Impact wrench. Once I got there, it would not budge the lug nuts on his truck. But I happen to have a couple of newer generation half inch impact wrenches returned to my brother-in-law's house with an additional 12 amp hour battery for the Milwaukee and the Rigid and Hercules, the way they stand, even though these are new generations with on paper better specs, the Milwaukee still felt like it was hitting the hardest. That's not possible because on paper, this is actually one of the least powerful of the bunch. I'm gonna have to test this for myself. And we're gonna get right to it, right after this message from our sponsor, CG Construction. You wanna help out the channel? Head on over to Merch Store. You get hats, hoodies, t-shirts. Link will be in the description below. Going into this blindly, if you were to ask me which would be the most powerful here, I would tell you handedly, I, th I would think the Hercules the specifications on paper for this tool are stellar. After my real world experience, I don't know anymore. Literally trying to back out a lug nut on an aluminum alloy wheel, I wasn't able to do it. I knew that I wanted to dive into this a little bit deeper. Hence, in this video over here, we started to construct this testing rig. We would highlight them in a capacity that we would be using them on a job site, and that would be to drive large structural lag fasteners. And what we have here is a steel I-beam. It's been gusseted up on the back end with steel to capture our grade eight bolt that feeds through our hole. And then we'll put a grade eight washer and our grade A nut. Now, this is gusseted up, this is welded all nice. It was all done here in-house, we, we machined this. The fasteners are grade eight. They're an inch and seven eighths. We have a bolt, we have a nut, we have a washer. The way we decided to test the fastening and breakaway torque of each of these impact wrenches was to tighten all three with one of the impact wrenches. We will then come back with each of the other impact wrenches and loosen one of the bolts. This should prove the manufacturer's breakaway torque or butt nusting torque specification. I have the specifications for all the impact wrenches. I'm gonna dribble them in as we go. We're gonna go a total count to 10 on the tightening. This is Milwaukee's high torque impact wrench, product number 2763-20. It's got a no load RPM in speed one of 425 and 700 in speed two. Fastening torque is 100 foot-pounds in mode one and 700 foot-pounds in speed two. The nut busting torque is 1,100 foot-pounds. The Milwaukee has a five-year warranty. This is a two or three generation old high torque impact from Milwaukee. This impact wrench in a kit form with five amp hour batteries actually would cost you $470. So I don't know, this thing's actually seems to be price really high compared to the newer generations. Why wouldn't you just buy the newer generation instead of this? Maybe, maybe I'm missing something. But first up, pretty uneventful. I wanted to kind of feature some of the other functions of the rigid that we talked about earlier. So we're in auto mode, we're gonna tighten down. It's in auto mode. It's still hammering down, uh, probably with reduced torque. See about breakaway. And you can see fingers on the trigger. And what that will be helpful with is you have your trigger depressed fully because you're trying to give it all the powers. Once that nut breaks loose, you don't have to worry about it flying off and be, you know, and going missing.
seem pretty effortless. Let's test the other features of the Hercules as well because it does feature an auto mode. So in tightening mode, it actually did shut the wrench down. It didn't keep hammering down, which I kind of like. I like that. Now let's use auto in reverse. It was a little weird. It did initially cut power. It looked like it was gonna stop, but then it, it kept going. We'll give the Hercules another try. Let's see, we're on auto removal mode again. Let's see how it does this time. <laughs> so it did it again. It stalled and restarted at a, a greatly reduced speed, but it did once again restart. Of the three on breakaway, I feel like Ryobi might, might have took a little bit long. Err. Once again, Ryobi does have uh, an auto feature. I'd like to see how it functions. It started out with less power and increased. It kind of like it sensed how much torque was gonna to be required, applied it, then once broke free, you could see it stopped. Now let's go in forward. Whoa, let's go forward and retighten that bolt. So pretty much it just snugged it up. See, fingers fully depressed. Let's, let's try it again. I like that. I, I honestly like that. So far, we've proved that every one of these impact wrenches does indeed have 700 foot-pounds or greater of nut-busting torque. This is Ryobi's One Plus HP 18 volt brushless cordless model number PBLIW01B. Four mode half inch high torque impact wrench. It has a max breakaway torque rating of 1170 foot pounds. It features three speeds and an auto mode, which offer user control in a variety of automotive and job site applications. Bare tool price is $219. Kit price, that includes a four amp hour battery and a charger of $299. Funny part is, of all the impacts, and I've read the literature, the one impact wrench that actually highlights superstructure is the Ryobi. Found it funny that Ryobi did not list a max tightening torque rating for this impact, at least nowhere where I could find it. I do like the three LED lights on the, on the Ryobi. Let's go to the oldest. Milwaukee. Well, it's definitely not less than 700 pounds. Let's move to Ryobi's big brother. That was interesting. Rigid applies the full amount of torque and then shuts the tool down. Finally, let's move into the on paper most powerful of the bunch. Once again, we were in auto mode. No problem. We're gonna tighten our three bolts. Top speed, rigid. This is Rigid's 18 volt brushless cordless four mode half inch high torque impact wrench. The model number here is R86212B. It's got a max fastening torque of 900 foot-pounds and a max breakaway rating of 1,300 foot-pounds. It's got three speeds and an auto tightening mode. Auto tightening mode auto stops when fastening to prevent over tightening bolts. Auto tightening mode in reverse delivers full breakaway torque, then stops the bolt when it becomes loose. Price is $329 for the kit with a four amp hour battery and a charger. And as of the shooting of this video, this was on special buy. Not with this battery, with a four amp hour battery, but $199, which in my opinion, seems to be a tremendous value. 
Milwaukee's 1,100 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. So even though it's the oldest, it still should pack enough punch to break the rigid bolts free. It took a little bit, but it got it done. Let's move into the little brother. Finally, we have our Hercules. Champion on papers, speed three. Look the easiest of all. We have Hercules 20 volt brushless, cordless, half inch ultra torque impact wrench. It features 1400 foot pounds of breakaway torque, 900 foot pounds of fastening torque. Hercules says the convenient four mode selector operates at three speed ranges 550 RPM, 1880 RPM, and 1600 RPM. Auto mode sets the tool for auto shut off bolt removal mode to prevent over loosening fasteners and auto tighten mode to prevent over tightening. Crazy part about the Hercules right now, this is on clearance for $119. I could not find a kit offering from Harbor Freight on this Hercules. If you know about a kit price on this tool, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. Fastening tour for Hercules is 900 foot pounds, 1100 for the Milwaukee, but uh, it kind of struggled with the rigid. Let's see if it could do it. Finally did it. much easier. I feel like I'm seeing some rotation, but then it's just not moving. and it finally broke it loose. Pretty impressive for Ryobi, but when you consider that it has a rating, a manufacturer's rating of 1140-ish foot-pounds or 1150, let's call it, foot-pounds of breakaway torque, and the Hercules is rated for 900 foot-pounds of fastening torque, did it take longer than it should have? I don't know. Would that constitute the amount of time we needed to stay full throttle on that bolt? Did that constitute abuse? Would, would someone say you have the wrong tool for the job? I'll be honest with you. I think it's pretty doggone amazing the amount of power that these impact wrenches are putting out. Something with a huge air compressor. They were not portable. Now you have all of this power in the palm of your hand. I love that this three generation old Milwaukee still has the power to hang with some of the newest impact wrenches on the market. Not all of them professional. And with that being said, the Ryobi pretty much accomplished everything that we threw at it. Maybe it didn't do it as fast. I will say that it it did it better lit than all of them. And the price point here is really good. But you have to give credit where credit is due. The Hercules is on clearance. It's at a hundred and something dollars, like 120 bucks, which is a tremendous value. It seemed to accomplish all of the tests faster, which would mean that it would be indeed the most powerful 
of the bunch here, I would be comfortable recommending any four of these impact wrenches to any one of you. And if you like getting recommendations after seeing some crazy testing, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do. It doesn't cost you a dime. Plus, you'll get seven years of good luck. What was your favorite standout feature of these impact wrenches and which one would you choose? We want to know. Leave it all below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. I hope to see you all on the next one.